men forget. Yet all shall be forgot, but he'll remember with advantages what feats he did that day. Then shall our names, familiar in their mouths as household words, Harry the King, Bedford and Exeter, Warwick and Talbot, Salisbury and Gloucester, be in their flowing cups freshly remembered. This story shall the good man teach his son, and Crispin Crispian shall ne'er go by from this day to the ending of the world. But we in it shall be remembered. We few. We happy few. We band of brothers. For he today that sheds his blood with me shall be my brother. Be he ne'er so vile, this day shall gentle his condition. And gentlemen in England, now abed, shall think themselves a curse they were not here, and hold their manhoods cheap. Whilst any speaks that thought with us upon St. Crispin's Day! Hello Spartans, welcome to this historical battle of Agincourt from Medieval 2 to the war. Why am I recording this today? Well, it's because it is 599 years ago today, this very day, the 25th of October, when the Battle of Agincourt was fought. Uh, you know, very much uh, a feat in historical history for the English. This was a great battle, a great victory for us. And yes, I thought, why not? Celebrate today with this battle today on my uh, on my channel really with uh, the Medieval 2 game So we'll fight it out. We are always the English and Hopefully we can replicate it and defeat the French today on this uh, historical battle So let's start it straight away. So no messing around here guys. We've got our, our yeoman archers which are going to provide the uh, the firepower to this uh, English army and obviously then we've got our Men at arms are heavy billmen. Now I know on this battle there is going to be some French who are going to try and charge us in the back. So we're going to line up these here to uh, to counter them when you do come. Obviously King Henry himself, King Hal, he can move forward into that French line, like that first line against the French. Brace yourselves now, come on! First French charge of the cavalry, the heavy knights are coming. Hold, hold, come on. Right, they're retreating. Wonderful. So let's bring these forward slightly because I know this line is a little bit too uh, far back for my life. If we bring them forward ever so slightly so we can get them nicely pinned between these two uh, units, these set of pikes here, or stakes I should say, and it makes it easy, a bit easier thing to, uh, to protect our sides with them. Come on, archers, keep your firing coming now. Wave after wave of arrows, beautiful. Right, come on. So the, yeah, the cavalry do come round about here, I think. So hopefully we can uh, hold them back. We're going to use, bring this unit of heavy billmen across as well to protect the archers at the back there. We've engaged now. They're sending another wave of hapless fools. They're heavy dismounted knights. Oh, wonderful, we've got some wavering already. Fantastic, well done, that line is holding well. Where are they? I know they're coming. Where the hell are they? You can, you can tell I've played this battle quite a lot of times since uh, the game was released. How many, I think how many years ago now? It's about, what? Ooh, about eight, nine years ago this, ga this game was released, wasn't it? 2006, I think? Oh, brace yourselves, man! Brace yourselves! Oh, that was a bit of a... Poor charge in the end. Bring these slightly forward. There you go, that's it. Nicely tucked in that line there. Human Arch is doing a very good job, that's it. Boom! Hope you guys have enjoyed my new stainless steel 6.4 let's play as the English on Medieval 2. If 
you haven't seen it yet, go and check it out. I mean, I think I'm on to the fourth episode now of the, uh, the campaign. Really good, really enjoying it. Great mod for the game, really great mod. So, yeah, if you haven't watched it so far, go check it out. It's, uh, it's going to be very interesting. Trying to secure the British Isles at the moment, which is proving a nice challenge. And here we go. Here they are, as we thought. They're coming around now. So we'll prepare ourselves for that charge in a second. And we need the heavy infantry. I'm glad I've got my heavy infantry here, especially my heavy bill, when they can repel this charge, hopefully, effectively. Go, go, go. Charge him. Exactly! King Hell! Right, boom. Of course, they don't give up that easily. Well, at least we've got the archers protected. That's the main thing. A lot of people suggest that, uh, even though it's commonly thought that the archers were the biggest factor for the English winning the uh, Battle of Agincourt, I believe. Hey! I believe is actually the fact we didn't fight to the chivalric code of the day, I believe, as well at some point. And that we, you know, at that time, we usually, you know, knight would fight n knight and that would be it. You wouldn't fight a, a normal common soldier. But uh, this wasn't the case. I believe we uh, we didn't keep to that code and that uh, threw, the, threw the French off a lot. So I believe that was the case. Um, if I'm wrong... Please do tell in the comments, but uh, I believe, as I say, that was what I heard. Of course, the, the archers would have made a massive impact, but um, it wasn't all about them. They weren't the sole reason for our victory on that day. So the billman can now come across to support his centre line because he's getting very tasty and heavy in his centre. Now look at this. These 90-odd units of dism dismounted chivalry knights are coming in. Come on. Hold as much as you can. Where is the king? Protect the king. There he is. His men are surrounding him now, protecting him beautifully. If we keep this line secure, we've got it. If we do this, we've won the day. And at least I can say that all of our archers, most of them at least, are being protected throughout this battle. And that's proved massive. Absolutely massive. No, 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 come back. Be disciplined, men. Do not get involved in charging out that line. In fact, you've done yourself well, actually, because you've been able to get yourselves round the back of these guys here. Now, we did cover this battle from a 2,000 subscriber thank you, but it's good to come back to it, particularly today, for this great day, St. Crispin's Day. This is celebrated on the same day, so uh, it's good that uh, they've... You know, we've been able to do this battle today. I only just came about across it from a tweet from Dan Snow, actually. Dan Snow tweeted it on his Twitter page. And I thought, well, you know what? Wow, I completely complete forgot it was today. And it was in October, the Battle of Agincourt. But I didn't actually know what specific day it was. But uh, it was just great to be able to do this today. Actually, I thought it would be a nice little touch. Right, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Let's bring them around the side here. We've got them enclosed now. Indeed it is. Once more, King Henry. King Henry and England. This should be it now. This should be it. We have got him surrounded. Charge in. Get in there. Right. Go across then and then get into the mix. Once you push yourself further into the heart of that uh, remaining forces. And on the retreat, that should be glorious victory for the English. The French are fleeing the field. We're in full pursuit. The archers are still firing. This is beautiful. It's a heroic victory. Wonderful. Fantastic. That is very, very good indeed. I'm pleased I got a heroic victory today. Just to try and replicate it like it was on the day all those years ago. 599 years ago. So yes, to next year it'll be 600 years exactly. Um, to the day that it was uh, fought. So, yes, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's just a quick little battle for you to enjoy for today. Uh, let's have a quick look at the statistics while we're here, which will 
have a look and see which our best unit was. And it looks like it was, oh, well, of course, it's our yeoman archers. 1 3 2. What about our infantry? One of our dismounted English knights, was it? Yes, it was this one here. Well done. Well done indeed. And at King Henry V himself, 111 conf uh, casualties inflicted on the day. So, yeah, superb. So there you go, guys. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this today. If you have, please drop this video a like. It means a lot to me. And, of course, I shall be back with some more Medieval 2 Let's Play very soon for my you know, English campaign going forward. But until then, this is Warrior Sparta. For now, wishing you a very happy St. Crispin's Day. Take care. Farewell.